Just got across our desk some, some sad news that Norman Lear, the iconic television producer who introduced political and social commentary into the American sitcom, mm -hmm. died yesterday at his home in Los Angeles at the age of 101. His death now has been confirmed by a spokeswoman for the family. NBC News correspondent Joe Fryer looks back at the incredible life and legacy of Norman Lear. Because of Norman Lear, the small screen grew. We are the Jeffersons. Its boundaries swelled to share new stories and project new voices. I have never been in a situation in my life, however tragic, where I didn't see some comedy. Born in 1922, Lear served during World War II before settling down in Los Angeles, where he wrote for comedy shows, most notably the Colgate Comedy Hour, starring Jerry Lewis and Dean Martin. From there, he turned to producing movies, earning an Oscar nomination in 1968 for Divorce American Style. 250 bucks a month and I'm a houseboy. It wasn't until the 70s that Lear began to build the foundation for his TV empire, starting with All in the Family. You are a meathead. <laughs> the groundbreaking show used humor to tackle serious topics like race and sexuality. It was so controversial, it started with a disclaimer. One, two, three. <laughs> when it came to social issues, There's Lear was fearless. Just tell me, Walter, that I'm doing the right thing, not having the baby. His series, Maude, addressed abortion months before the Supreme Court's decision in Roe versus Wade. The show also generated a spin-off. Good, Good Times was among the first primetime shows depicting life for African-American families. It focused on a poor family living in a housing project, but drew criticism from viewers, even cast members, who felt it perpetuated stereotypes. Well, we're moving on. Lear then created the Jeffersons, which centered on a successful black couple residing in a luxury apartment building. How can you afford to live in a place like this? You ain't tall enough to be no basketball player. <laughs> but in the 80s, he walked away from TV to focus on political activism. A vocal opponent of the religious right, Lear created a nonprofit called People for the American Way. Don't tell us we're bad Christians or good Christians, depending on our political points of view. That isn't the American way. Married three times, Lear had six kids. The youngest twins were born when he was in his 70s. Age never slowed him down. At 94, Lear launched a podcast called All of the Above. I have failed Cuba. And rebooted one of his classic series, One Day at a Time, this time with a Cuban-American family. Norman Lear has held up a mirror to American society and changed the way we look at it. A man who entertained viewers and challenged them, changing television for the better. Wow. Uh, I tell you, first of all, I got a chance to spend some time with him. He was a wonderful man. Uh, sweet, I just, uh, sweet man. Love spending time with him. That's the first thing. The second thing is, Mike, in this upside down world that Claire McCaskill talked about, Norman Lear. The bane of conservatives' existence for 50 years was 50 years ahead of his time with All in the Family. Uh, something, a program that if you watch now is shockingly, shockingly politically incorrect. <laughs> and yet he fearlessly did it 50 years ago. It, it is, and the depiction of Archie Bunker, uh, uh, about as relevant as it's ever been. You know, Joe, if you if you place uh, all of those shows, all of Norman Lear's shows, uh, back in the era that they were first displayed on American television, basically the 70s, the 1970s, you can say with credibility that Norman Lear brought America to Americans for the first time. I mean, a uh, television set was your constant companion back in the 70s. It is now, but not to the extent it was then. It was, it was home entertainment, and all of a sudden, you had all in the family. You had the Jeffersons. Uh, you had Sanford and Sons. You had programs that gave you a picture, a comedic picture, but a serious one as well, into the lives of people that you would never meet, never knew, really never talked about, and all of a sudden, they were right there in your living room. 
He did an enormous service to the United States of America by bringing America, the real America, to Americans in their own homes. And Joe, one of the ways Norman Lear always described his work is watching television, watching American television in the 50s and 60s and seeing the perfect suburban families, the sort of leave it to beaver version of Americans saying, that's not what's going on out here. We've got to really reflect the country. And that's where you got shows like All in the Family and Sanford and Son and Maude tackling issues that television never would touch before Norman Lear. Race, sex, class, abortion, as we saw there, the Vietnam War on All in the Family. And importantly, I want to add in, Norman Lear served in World War II in yeah. the United States Army, more than 50 combat missions in the Mediterranean. So this was a guy who gave us so much, gave so much to this country, sure and we're so sad to see him gone.